In this problem, we need to find the zeros for the polynomial function f of x equals 5x squared times x plus 3 times x minus 4 all cubed. We also need to give the multiplicity for each zero and determine the behavior of the graph at each zero. Well, how do we find the zeros of any function? You set f of x, the function, equal to zero. So I'm going to set f of x equal to zero, which means I'm going to set this expression equal to zero. So I have 5x squared times the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 4 all cubed equals 0. Now using the zero product property, I have a bunch of things multiplied together equal 0. We solve it by setting each of them equal to 0. So I get 5x squared equals 0 x plus 3 equals 0, and lastly, x minus 4 all cubed equals 0. Well, 5 cannot equal 0, so I get x squared equals 0. Believe it or not, that was a squared. If x squared equals 0, when x equals 0. Next one, x plus 3 equals 0. Subtract 3 from both sides. I get x equals negative 3. Last one, x minus 4 all cubed equals 0. When x minus 4 equals 0, add 4 to both sides. I get x equals 4. So there are the three zeros for my polynomial. Now we need to look at the multiplicity for each zero and determine the behavior of the graph at each zero. And in these polynomial problems, when you have multiple zeros and factors and multiplicities, I find it helps keep all the information straight if you put it in a table. So I'm going to put the video on pause for a second. So here is the table. I have the factors the zeros, the multiplicity, and the behavior of the graph at that zero. I've already put in my factors from up here and the zeros that I found that went with each of those factors. Now looking at the multiplicity, the zero of x equals zero, how many times did the factor x occur here? Well, it was x squared, so it occurred twice, so the multiplicity is 2. For the 0, x equals negative 3, how many times did the factor x plus 3 occur? One time, so its multiplicity is 1. Finally, the 0, x equals 4, how many times did the factor x minus 4 occur? 3 times, so its multiplicity is even though we weren't asked for the degree of this polynomial, it's interesting to note that if you add up all your multiplicities, 2 plus 1 plus 3, I get a sum of 6. That is the degree of my polynomial. And lastly, we need to look at the behavior of the graph at zeros. That all depends on the multiplicity. If the multiplicity is even, then the graph is going to touch the x-axis and turn around at that zero. If the multiplicity is odd, as in these two here, then the graph is going to cross the x-axis at those two zeros.